It's a final countdown. What are you doing, AJ? Why, I'm about to introduce the five raddest game characters that wear glasses. Number five, Garrus Vakarian. He has reach. Number four, Bayonetta. Man, what a hottie. Number three, Gordon Freeman. Silent but deadly. Number two, Wesker. I will stay here and fix my glasses. Number one, Dr. Eggman. Also known in certain circles as Dr. Robotnik. Versus. Hello Kitty with Mjolnir versus Mr. Rossetti with Ninja Stars. Hello Kitty uses cuteness. Rossetti throws Ninja Stars. Kitty is too cute. You're right, Ninja Stars disintegrate. Hello Kitty plays dress up. Rossetti yells angry things. Kitty's feelings are hurt. Rossetti wields a pickaxe. Kitty uses hammer to summon electricity. Pickaxes are natural conductors. And now it's time for girl pots. Arr, I be a pirate! Psst, talk like a pirate day was last week. And that was this week's Girl Pots. EA has announced a new game in their Mass Effect series. Mass Effect is renowned for its RPG elements, branching storylines, and alternate endings. If you petition for them. Big news from the Tokyo Game Show. Nintendo has released a price point for their Wii U, starting at roughly 300 US dollars. Not to be outdone, Sony announced a PlayStation 3 approximately one centimeter smaller than the one on your shelf. One of my favorite stories this week, Kirby turns 20 years old. Naturally, some have been calling for the pink puffball to prove his age and release a birth certificate, to which he issued the statement. Calls for Kirby to release his tax statements have since backed off. What's the name of this game? This game is called Cran Physics Deluxe. So here's a Brachiosaurus. And is he a star? I can make him a star. He's not a star. No, no, oh! I... What? <laughs> Brachiosaurus is not amused. Alright. Yeah, yes. like a monocle. And he looks very dapper. Boom. Right it's quite a swanky look right, for him. Alright, alright. Wait, how did, how did the rocket get stuck on this? No, I'm a pretty Brachiosaurus! Gugam32 wants to know why Salad Snake never showed up for The Legend of Ganondorf to recruit Ganondorf and Link. We actually only thought of it while we were finishing Princess Peach. Oh, so we're back in April. April. Yeah. yeah, so that's why. And now he's making up for lost time. You might see him in a couple new videos. Little bonus encounters here and there. Maybe. Let's spin the wheel for next week's segments. Remember to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Also, check out these bloopers here. <laughs> The unfathomable Linguini. Five Countdown. See you next week.